So um, I give you very quickly a general overview of what Kuam is doing in Uganda, but uh, more specifically on what Kuam is doing in one of the regions of Uganda that is extremely difficult to deliver results. But nonetheless, we are trying to make headway in trying to achieve something for the poor women and children in that area. In this year, 2013, uh, Kuam in Uganda ran projects that covered 11 districts with a population of about 11, uh, population of about two and a half million people. But the area of uh, Karamoja, which is, uh, which is in the, oh, how do I? This is not working. Go back a bit. Yes. You must say next. Okay. So can you go back a little bit? Just go back a little bit. Yes. So that area in the northeast is um, where we have the highest concentration of effort right now in Uganda. Next slide. We are having a basic health system framework in trying to address the health system problems in Uganda and especially in that northeastern region that is looking at all the aspects that start with governance, leadership, management, supplies, finance, human resource, and so on. So this is the framework in which we are working and try to achieve uh, results and impact through it. Next slide. So the main areas of our project are in health management capacity building because we realize that even with the little resources that are there, we can achieve a lot if they are managed very well. So we are working very hard with the district local governments to improve the management capacity of the local district health systems. And we are, this year, we are having a very intense activity in trying to improve maternal and child health. And we are in the area of HIV AIDS, particularly the prevention of mother-to-child transmission of HIV. And the Kuam right now is the lead implementing partner in the whole of Northeastern region uh, in Uganda in a partnership that is contributed by UN agencies and also uh, the U.S. government uh, PEPFA funds uh, providing support. We are also uh, strongly supporting health training, both through scholarships and supporting training schools uh, directly. Kuam and UNICEF in Karamoja initially started work together because of the support from the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, or MAI, but since then we have established an independent partnership with UNICEF and are trying to do a lot and reaching people in many ways in seven districts in northeastern region with a population of 1.4 million people and we are working with 112 health facilities five of them are hospitals and 1434 villages next slide karamoja and kuam are buddies for a long time they it has been uh, since the early 1970s um, when uh, especially Dr. and Mrs. Rowe, who is here, uh, started uh, work in Matanya Hospital. Kuam has continuously been in Karamoja since then, and Matanya has been the main base. But it has really grown, and Kuam has grown with the hospital. Kuam and the support to Matanya has been seen as a symbol of Italian interest in Karamoja, and sometimes in Uganda there is loose talk that Karamoja is Italian territory because of a lot of interest and visibility of Italian organizations working in uh, Karamoja. Uh, recently, the first lady in her visit to Matanyi Hospital uh, so said that Matanyi is a symbol of hope for Karamoja because everything else seemed to have been failing when she visited many hospitals, institutions, and so on. They were in a very serious state, um, having so many problems. But at least when she came to Matani, she had a sign of hope. Next slide. 
Yes, Karamoja, compared to the rest of the country, is a very difficult region, very bad indicators. And there are just a few of them there that you can see. The life expectancy is almost, um, almost four years um, less than the national one. Uh, the population living below the poverty line is almost 76%. That is living on one dollar a day. Uh, one dollar here might probably buy you only a cup of cappuccino or even less, I don't know. Then maternal mortality is too high, 750 per 100,000 compared to 438 for the rest of the country. Infant mortality, 87 versus 54. Under five mortality, 153 versus 90. Malnourished children, almost 37% um, compared to 28% and so on. These are very, very bad indicators. And so it is really showing you how badly off the region that is the concentration of Kwam work is compared to the rest of the country. Next slide. Yes, in Karamoja, there are all too often these common health problems, and we are trying to systematically address them, all of them. So from the level from the problem of lack of good governance, supervision, and management, we are working by providing technical assistance to the district health offices and teams to make sure that that problem is solved. We are trying to work with, in collaboration with other partners to advocate for increased financing of health in uh, the region. We are working to improve the management of medicines and supplies. We are working to improve the poor staffing. Almost half of the staff positions are empty, not filled uh, in Karamoja. We've been working to improve staff housing, improving professional development for staff, and very strongly trying to improve access. At the moment, almost 59, or precisely 49% uh, of the people in Karamoja live more than five kilometers to a nearby health unit, and that is the definition of access uh, in Uganda. And we are trying to bridge this gap by creating outreaches and a number of transport options to make uh, women and children come and access uh, the service. Then we recently did in 2010 a, a, um, a study on factors affecting maternal and neonatal child health that brought strongly the cultural uh, uh, beliefs and practices for some of which we are trying to address in the current initiative. The status of the roads is beyond the work of Kuam, but we try to tell the politicians that they need to play their role. And finally, security is much better now, but is still insecure uh, to move at night from the village to the health center. Next slide. Yes, the problems of accessing healthcare in Uganda and Karamoja um, are many. This is a, a result from the Uganda Demographic Health Survey of 2011. And I want just to tell you that there are three big things. Getting money for treatment, the distance to the health facility, and having no transport are the major things. And this is the focus of our current project. Next slide. Yes, uh, we are trying to really emphasize on population-based results, and uh, for this, we have tried to integrate so much our work with the districts. And since 2006, we have been working with the district local governments trying to contribute to solutions addressing these uh, problems. Next slide. This is what, in some fair detail, we are trying to do in uh, Karamoja. We are providing technical assistance to improve governance, supervision, planning, information management, management uh, monitoring and evaluation, logistics supplies. We are giving scholarships to young boys and girls to become nurses, midwives. We are having a very strong maternal child health component where we are building the capacity of staff, giving equipment, lighting maternities, labor wards, mentoring staff, providing tools and guidelines, and working with community health workers called the Village Health Team. And there are new innovations. We are trying to introduce transport vouchers so that mothers can freely travel to deliver in a health unit. We are trying to give 
an incentive, a gift to the mother uh, so that she can be attracted to come and deliver. And we're using a new uh, bath cushion where mothers can deliver while squatting and a number of cultural adaptation practices. Then we are trying to eliminate the transmission of HIV to neonates. And finally, we are giving nutrition technical assistance. Uh, next slide. Next slide. So this is, this is uh, part of our work in pictures, mothers happily delivering uh, babies. Next slide. This is the first cesarean section in a health center that had not been operational since it was built. But in 2008, this was the first cesarean section in that health center that is now having almost 20 deliveries, uh, rather 20 cesarean sections every three months. Next slide. Yes, Kwam is strongly trying to have outreach services for people who are very far, as you can see. Next slide. Next slide. Yes, we are training staff. This was a training in the health management information system for the districts. Next slide. And we, at one point, tried to say we have been intensively working for the last six, seven years in all these districts. So what has happened? And these are some of the observed changes, comparing the 2006 and 2011 demographic health surveys in Uganda and in Karamoja. And uh, even if we worked as well as the whole of Uganda, that would be good enough. But you can see here, in many of the indicators, actually Karamoja performed much better than the rest of the country. The change was much greater. As you can see, um, in skilled birth, antenatal, diarrheal disease treatment, the, 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 the purple and green are, are, are the graphs of Karamoja. So the changes in those two years, uh, in those two periods, are very, very significant. Uh, and for most of those indicators, Karamoja has gone beyond the national average. Next slide. Looking at deliveries alone, this is the, the trend that has happened since we started in 2006, December, until last year, 2012, 2013, we have pulled the deliveries in health units from 8.3% to 19%. Because the population is rising, in actual number of deliveries, they have jumped from 3,500 to um, 12,673 in the last financial year. And I think this is something commendable. Next slide. And the, as I told you, in the last, in this year, this is the first year of a much more intense activity of maternal uh, and child uh, support. So looking at just the three quarters, January, March, April, June, and July, September, this is what is happening. And we are really happy that even in the first year, we are seeing such a tremendous change, and we are definitely going to achieve our project target. Some districts actually doubled their their deliveries in just a period of one quarter. Uh, and uh, we really believe that we shall achieve what we want to achieve. Next slide. I think that is the end. So thank you very much for listening to me. I hope... Uh